Good morning, Grace Hill. Um, today we, I want to re-look again at uh, the l chapter in Luke 18 that Keith started his sermon on on Sunday. Um, it was such an eye opener again, and it spoke about persistent prayer. And he mentions he mentioned that first before he started in um, Hebrews. We there was a, a lady who kept hassling him. And it says here in, in Luke 18, verse 1, Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, In a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared about men. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care about men, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice, so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says, and will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they are that they get justice and quickly. And it led Keith into um, the chapter in Hebrews, chapter ten, and the verse that stuck out at me was the fact in in verse thirty five of Hebrews ten, where it says, "Don't throw away your confidence; it will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what He has promised." And it also drew me to James 5, verse 16, which speaks specifically about the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. We are righteous in Christ because of what he did for us on the cross. So our prayers, my prayers and your prayers are powerful and they are effective. Our Father is a God who hears us. He's not far off. As that story illustrated of, of Keith's little grandson, and and keep saying to him, come closer to me. That's what the God, our Father, is asking us of, of us, to come closer to him. He draws close to us, and he wants to have a relationship with us. And I just want to encourage us all to take these scriptures and mull over them again and again and again that Keith preached on Sunday. And boy, that was a message to me. And stick them up on your fridge. We need to persevere so when we have done the will of God, we will receive what he has promised. We are not alone. He's promised to never leave us or forsake us. And those heroes in chapter 11 weren't exceptional people. They were normal people like you and I. So let's hold on to God's promises today and tomorrow and the weeks that lie ahead. When we are done, Remember these words that God has spoken, this word that he's to us. Do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. May you be blessed.